Welcome in my math party people. Coach Anderson here. Let's get it done. First things first, when every word problem that we deal with is looking easy, hard, medium, doesn't matter. First thing you want to do, read the question. Because again, that question tells you what information you are seeking, what information you're looking for. So let's point ourselves in the right direction. And again, start right there. So right here it says, how many pieces of pie remained after dinner? Okay. So right here, let's just go ahead and highlight it for what it is. How many pieces of pie remained? Okay. So right here, what do we want? Again, first step, what do we want? We want blank remaining pieces of pie. Okay. Sounds good. We're just looking for blank remaining pieces of pie. So every piece of information that we're going to comb through in the problem, we're going to go ahead and just kind of go it through it one bit by bit. And the information that we care about again, only has to do with how many pieces of pie are left. That's it. So let's go ahead and read through. Let's just read through the story briefly and then we'll collect the numbers. So it says just before dinner, four pies were each cut into eight pieces. Okay. After everyone finished eating, there remained three eighths of a pie, a quarter of a pie, three quarters of a pie, and half of a pie. Sounds good. Then it says how many pieces of pie remained after dinner. So think about it. If we're looking for how many pieces are left, well then again, did they give us anything that has to do with how many pieces were eaten or how many were left? Answer is yes. Right here, look. After everyone finished eating, there, look at the word right here, keyword, remained remain they were left there remained three eighths a quarter three quarters and half now what do we do with that information because those are all fractions not actual pieces right we're looking for how many pieces were left here we're given fractions so what do we do with that well what we're going to do with that my math party people is this notice that in the beginning we were told that hey each pie was cut into eight pieces. Each pie was cut into eight pieces. So there are really two ways that we can go about this. Two really legitimate ways that should make sense either way we do it. So let's, let's take a look at here. Let's take a look at this first one. Number one, pie number one. We have three eighths left. Before we continue, just want to take a quick moment to thank you for watching this video. And all I ask is that you please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way more people just like you can see these videos. But on top of that, if you're looking for more ways to practice the right way and raise your score with guidance without stressing, then I really wholly 100% recommend my ASVAB All Access program. The program, long story short, helps you watch, practice, and master every topic from the word knowledge to paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, math knowledge, general science. It's there and it's designed to help you succeed with practicing the right way. So. With that said, check out the link in the description to see how it all works because you're going to have ways to learn in every way that you prefer. And you get my guidance and my support all the way until you pass. So don't hesitate. Stop feeling nervous and being anxious and letting yourself feel that way when there's a solution waiting right here for you. Check out the link in the description. That way you see how it works. And then reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Let's get back to raising our scores. Now think about it. What does a fraction mean? A fraction is a part of a whole, right? A fraction is a part of a whole. And so if we're taking a look at that, that means that we have three out of eight left. Oh, so that's three pieces. Think about that. That's three pieces because it's three out of eight. That translates to three pieces. And if that doesn't make sense, here's what you can do. If the first pie says we have three eighths left, well, what is three eighths of eight? Let's multiply it. The fraction times the whole. Three eighths times eight, what's that gonna give us? Well, take a look. If we write that over one, look at what we have. The eights cancel out and we're just left with three, which is again, three pieces. So again, there are two ways that you can figure out how many pieces are left from each pie. Let's go ahead and look at number two, pie number two to really show you exactly what I mean. Look at pie number two. Pie number two, we have right over here, let me just highlight it. We have a quarter of a pie right there. We have a quarter of a pie. So watch this. If we have one quarter of a pie, well remember every pie was eight pieces. So there are two real ways we can do this. 
one, we can just do a quarter times eight, which again, that's the same thing as saying eight over one. Let me zoom in for us a little bit here and take a look. That's just gonna be the same thing as one times eight, four times one, eight over four is two. So that's gonna be two pieces. Another way that you can find that same number, the same two pieces, is to write the fraction out of eight. Because remember, it's out of eight pieces. Every pie has eight pieces. So if you write the fraction out of eight, you'll get your answer automatically. Here's how. So if I have one quarter, just like I said I did right here again, we had one quarter, how do I get that to be out of eight? If you understand fractions to the point of understanding the denominators and how to change denominators, remember that you're gonna do the same thing to the top and the bottom. So what you can do here, my part of people is this. You can multiply by two on the top and the bottom because four times two, that's gonna give you the eight. So here you have eight, and then two up top. Again, two pieces out of the eight. Two pieces. So again, either way it'll work. I'm just trying to show you both ways. That way you can pick the way that you like the best if you see a similar problem. But there it is. We have two pieces for pi number two. Let's take a look at pi number three. So let's go ahead and just get this back there. Let's take a look at number three. So number three, we see over here in purple, we have three quarters of a pi. So three quarters of a pi, what does that mean? Again, we can do three quarters times eight, or we can make the denominator eight. Either way is gonna work, either way. So watch, if I go ahead and multiply this by eight, what we end up getting is 24 over four, which is six pieces. Or we can take three quarters and multiply that by two over two. Because if we do that, we get six over eight six out of the eight pieces. Either way, you get six pieces. So we have six pieces there. And then lastly, number four, pi number four, I'll go ahead and use green here. We have half of a pi. So if we have one half, you know, if you know your mental math, you're pretty good already. But if we want to know what half of eight is, that's four. So we can just do half of eight, and that's going to give us eight over two, and that will be four pieces. Let's keep it real, my math party people. I know that watching these ASVAB videos on YouTube is great, but what if you could join me live for a free class once a week? I do have free classes live once a week for two hours a piece for ASVAB math, so why not join me? Click the link right here, that way you can join me, raise your score for free, and keep kicking butt like you're doing right now. Let's get back to the action, but I hope to see you in class soon. Click there and let's get started. So let's understand this. We have three pieces, two pieces, six pieces, and four pieces. So how many total pieces of pi is that? All we have to do is add. If we add it all together, we'll get three plus two is five, five plus six is 11, 11 plus four is 15. So we have a total of 15 pieces of pi left over. And there we are. So my math party people remember, not every word problem has to be super difficult. We just need to make sure we split it up into, hey, what's the question? Okay, what information do we have? And we gotta make sure we understand that information. Then once we get to the calculating, I showed you right here, there were two ways to think about it when you were calculating, and I showed you both ways for each one, giving us the same answer each time. And so there we go, there's our answer, and I really hope that this makes sense. Let's keep moving forward the right way, practice those strategies, and let's keep getting smarter. I'll see you in the next video, my math party people. Anderson out. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.